Hey guys, what's up? Uh, welcome to the video number 334 and uh, my name is Ajay. I'm going to talk about today uh, how to explore the arrays in the Excel. For those who are watching the channel for the first time, welcome to the channel and welcome to all these 334 special videos on Excel, Excel VBA, Access and Access VBA. Now, uh, if you're new to the channel, what you need to do is uh, you need to just go to the playlist and find out all these different different 42 categories and you know, this is where you would see if I just scroll it down have all the basic videos intermediate level videos advanced level videos so you can learn excel you can learn excel vba access and access vba the video which i'm going to talk about especially on your request and you guys have asked that actually are very interested in learning the arrays which are the i think they are the strongest strongest formula in excel and i am a big fan of arrays i really love working on arrays right very soon you will see a couple of more videos on arrays also but this time i thought let me first you know uh put this video in front of you so that at least you can before watching the other examples you know like for example you can see here we have uploaded the 10 videos if you go there and you watch these videos you would understand what i'm talking about they are really really unbelievable whenever you get stuck with something which you think is not possible using the you know the other formulas you can think of the rs before you go to the vp programming <laughs> trust me on that guys right uh so in this video i'm going to talk about that Excel arrays, what are the arrays in Excel? In the VBA, of course, it is altogether a different thing. I have also a playlist, Excel VBA arrays, right? And we have a playlist, Excel arrays only. So you will have everything on this channel. So guys, uh, the first thing which I want to, uh, because this is going to be a, uh, the basic video, as well as after the learning the concept, we are going to do a wonderful example, and then you will understand that how powerful and how beautiful they are. No doubt, it takes a little time, but you know, uh, you, you keep on practicing and you keep on reading about the arrays, you keep on watching the videos, you will understand it. Now, the first thing which I want to tell you is that where I, exactly we use it, arrays. Arrays actually is nothing, it's it's a set of, you know, it's a combination of different, different values where you put, you know, every value together. Now, for example, guys, if this is a table one, you can see here and I've got the numbers here. Just in case, if I just ask you, if I just ask you that I want to sum these numbers, what will you do? This is how generally you do. You write the sum function and you will select this table and you will simply press enter. Right? In the arrays, you don't actually go ahead and you know use the enter. You will have to use the control shift enter. Let me write this. Control shift and enter. When you enter anything as a control shift enter, it acts as an array. And if, if you if, if you using control the shift enter Excel inserts the curly brackets. These are the curly brackets I'm talking about automatically. So that's a, one of the best way if you are actually looking at somebody's Excel file and you see that you know the, there are some curly brackets. You might have seen it and you're wondering that how come actually you know these curly brackets are here. Then that means that formula is entered as an array, right? The same thing if if I have to do it using the arrays, for example. Now I'm not here to tell you that in under what which situation you are supposed to use the arrays and under which uh, situation you are supposed to use the normal fu functions. Well, generally arrays are used where all functions doesn't work, and for that you can go ahead and check by all those you know they know. I think the twelve videos are here. Here you will see that whatever we have done, that's not possible really using the formulas maybe through the programming it is possible but through the other formulas it is not possible so you go ahead and use the arrays this video is going to talk about how to use it right and the rules what are the rules so the first rule which you have learned is control shift enter when you write the formula now i have to sum this using the array then how i'm going to do that well, it's very simple what you can do is you, you press equals two and you this is what you will do you select the table like this i close the bracket like this now instead of me Pressing the enter, I'm going to actually press control shift enter. The moment you press control shift enter, look at the formula bar, my friends. Look at the formula bar. It inserts the curly brackets automatically. That means the formula is entered as an array. Now you must be wondering that why I'm getting 34. Well, 34 because you have selected the table and on the table top it's 34, and that is why you're not able to see the rest of the values. So the question arises that does it actually holds the other values as well? Answer is yes, it is. But how we can look at it? Because this is only 34. Well, the second rule is that you got to use the F9. Now, F9 key, shortcut key, you use to expand the formula, to see the formula. You don't have to you know, use this and then press enter. No, 
do that this is only for your reference now if i'm going to click after the equals to now you please click after the equals to don't click anywhere here here also if you press f9 it will work but you know my experience says that if you're going to put uh, you know if you're going to put this cursor somewhere in the middle of the formula and press f9 it may actually stop your excel from working and it may get crashed it happens this is a small formula but when you make the big formulas generally it happens so please make the habit yet you just go to the next equals to sign and press f9 now i'm going to press f9 and look at this guys the table expands now when the table expands you can actually check whether the values coming in this table are correct or not and you can see here that the values are coming correct 34 5 24 1 2 4 5 5 so now i'm going to simply do one thing i'm going to simply press escape because if i press enter this is what will happen you see the formula is changed nobody's going to look at that this formula right if somebody's going to the formula they will not understand what is it right so let me undo it now this is your formula now guys it, it's very simple that is actually used when you want to as i said when you you want to club the different different cells yeah you know and want to do the direct action uh you know in a single cell and uh, so basically using the multiple cells and putting collating them and putting them in one cell and then doing your you know whatever the formula you actually want to apply now if i want to apply the formula i can write like this because you know that the number is uh, i have this entire table so if i press like this i'll still get the same answer but the point is control shift enter and f9 you saw that when you press f9 how it is going to work with this right so in this way you can actually use the formula now for example if um, if uh, let me just go ahead and give you one more example you want to check that which value in this table which value in this table table 1 in this table 1 is uh, greater than let's say 100 you want to find it out right so you want to find it out which value is greater than 100 so how are you going to do that using the arrays so now you see that if if i just use this uh, table one let me insert some columns here now if i want to check uh, without using the arrays what i will do i will simply go ahead and check this if this is greater than 100 maybe you want to do something maybe you want to uh, let's say write one and otherwise it should the zero right so if i press enter and if i just drag it this one actually is going to give me this one two four okay so this is the um, maybe one of the way you can check that which value is greater than you know that. otherwise what you can do is you can also use this if function in the arrays so you don't have to use you don't have to use the if on every cell so what we can do is we can write like this okay you know right here if this table you select the entire table look i'm selecting the entire table in one step because you know what i'm going to do actually i'll tell you basically if you select this entire table and you just uh, control shift enter and you go to the f9 your table is already created you just want these you know 34 5 24 1 2 4 and 55 to be compared with the 100 so we can make this thing in single formula guys so what i'm going to do is i'm going to simply write here if if this is my table i'm going to put it in the bracket right and i'm going to say that if this is greater than uh greater greater than 100 if it is greater than 100 then what do you want to do then i want to write here one otherwise zero let's say right this is what exactly this is a very simple formula instead of selecting the f3 or f4 or f5 i have selected the entire table so i know that i'm going to work on the array so every item is there the moment you press ctrl shift enter you don't see anything here you see the first value of that table right which is zero and makes sense because 34 actually is not greater than 100 so it must be giving a zero and that's what you are able to see here right but if you go ahead and just f9 look at this guys look at this this is a i was talking about and actually find the result over here now this is this exercise is not more of a like you know the result oriented i know that we're not not gonna get anything out of it i mean we have just made the set of zero zero one zero but i'm just trying to explain you because this is a very basic video how actually it happens right so you have here one right you can find the position of the one we are just going to do in the next exercise but i hope now you are pretty much comfortable with the control shift enter and the f9 key this is how actually you use things right now in the table two if you look at the table two now i'm going to put the real test over here let's understand this now in the table two you have some names over here pele prasati dean asif and ajk now what we want to do is which actually the name has the maximum number of characters and you know that prasati actually is should be the winner right i wouldn't i shouldn't say actually should be the winner but i mean 
you know, this person actually has the longest name, but how to get that using the arrays, right? Now, if you have to use the simple Excel skills, then what you will do, uh, you might be using the length function, I might be going to calculate the length of this. So I have the length, length means that the number of characters which would come and then uh, you might be interested in finding the max position, right? I find the max position, which one has the max position. So I'm going to actually select this. So this is not just the array exercise. I think this is also the, uh, you know, you can see that we are also trying to use the other formulas as well. So this is in one, right? Good to go with this thing. You have the, so you're not only understanding the arrays, but at the same time, you're also understanding, kind of, uh, you know, that how you can use the, uh, how you can answer these questions if they come up in your Excel uh, challenges, if they, if, you, if you're working in Excel and, you know, day to day, like you come across these kind of things. Now, when you got the, you got that, Eight. what I'm going to do is I'm going to find the position of this eight where exactly the position of the eight is so I can find the position of the you know this eight so I can find this eight in this lookup array just to get the position position means the row number so exact math I needed and you see that I got the two now when I got the two that means this eight is on the row number two and that is what I want to capture but how to capture the name so I'm going to use the index function very nice just go ahead and use this table and I'm going to actually go in this table, which is this length two, the row number two, and the column obviously would be one. So if I just go ahead and press enter, I have my answer, guys. Okay. Similarly, if I just in case if I just uh, let's say increase, uh, I just uh, select uh, any other name, for example, uh, let me come over here and let me just write it here. This one, look at this answer is in front of you right we have calculated it now how to use it with the arrows because you see we have i have used actually a lot of things here and right? i have used this first of all calculate the length of each cell and then i have calculated who's got the maximum value you know the spellings the number of characters Maybe i try to find the position of that value where is it because that that's where my you know this name would be laying so i calculated using the index function so we used index we used max we used match and we used length wow cool functions get this output in the arrays also you can use it but then in the arrays it can be done with just simple one formula because arrays gives us that freedom to put all these values in one single cell right so how are we going to do that it's very simple if you select this cell for example i start with it started with the bracket now what i'm going to do is control shift enter so if, you, if you just go ahead and press enter you will get the error because that doesn't make any sense and okay? you're saying that uh, j32 uh, j3 to j7 need all these values in one single cell which is not possible because generally when, when you link the cell you link the cell only with the one cell you can't link then two cells can you say that can you do this if i just select these cells and present no that's not going to make any sense right but in the arrays when you do that they have this capability so if i just press ctrl shift enter you see that i'm getting the play and if i just go up after equals to and i'm going to press f9 all right wow I got all the names here now we need to actually calculate the length of all these names so let me just press escape and come back to the formula now what you will do what did you do in this case just calculated the length using the length function so don't be confused simply just go ahead and write the length function over here and just press ctrl shift enter that's it automatically from the j3 to j7 your length will be calculated and there we go guys if i press f9 you can see here that i've got all the but of characters 5, 8, 4, 4, 10, and I need to actually find it out 10 to 1. So, how are you going to do that? Well, in this table, if I just use the max function, the function which you used here, I get your 10th number. So, that's what I'm going to do. So, I'm going to put here max function, and I want to say that in this table, which come from this length j3 colon j7, I want the max number. When you press control shift enter, there we go. You got the 10. Now, you got the 10. How are you going to capture this Ajay K, ARM? That's actually the important thing. Now, you got the 10, and remember the 10 is all about what is what is actually the 10. The 10 is the number of characters, right? So that means if I can find the 10 in this function using the match function, if I need to find the row number, I can use it in the index function. And no prizes for guesses, because I'm going to use it right over here in the formula itself so now remember this entire max function is returning me 10 so i'm gonna do one thing i'm gonna look up this 10 i start the function with the match look up value whatever the look up value i have here which would be the maximum where it has to look up 
has to look up in the same table which we started calculating the length of this so i'm going to select that table again now and you know that when i press ctrl shift enter this length j3 colon j7 will give me numbers like 5 comma 8 comma 4 comma 4 comma 10 right and then this max which i have calculated already 10 it is going to Look up that that 10 it is going to match up that 10 in that table and it's gonna give us the position because match actually returns the row number and the or the column number depending upon the table direction your you have your table in the downward direction that means it, it's gonna give you the row number if, if you don't have any idea what the match please go ahead and watch excel we look up and match playlist you will find there i have talked about this match function so there we go i'm gonna press the exact match now we are done with this now it should return me what it should return it should return me five because five is the position of this number the eight which you have put in using the max value that eight actually is nothing it's a length of ajk prma name and it is if you count one two three four five it is on the fifth row and there we go guys we got the fifth position wow now, once you have the fifth position, you're going to use this fifth position in the index. So I'm going to use this index right over here. I start the bracket array. The array means table. So in this table, I got to go I select this table and then the row number. Row number is already we got it you know, using the this function, the match, because I want to go on the row number five. And then the column number obviously would be one because you have just one table and this is where we need it. So if I just go ahead and press control shift enter. Wow, wow, wow. You can see that that's why i love them you don't have to use all these steps and delete this you can delete this you can delete this everything is happening over here right over here in front of you if i'm going to actually uh maybe uh, put something else over here for example i'm gonna put uh, this uh this name let's say something sort of that stuff you see that the answer is going to change automatically what else you need guys that's how you use the you know you can go to the formula tab and you can see evaluate formula so how it is going to work well first of all underline item is going to work length j3 to j7 if i click on the evaluate this is what i see 5 then colon 16 colon 4 colon 4 colon 10 these are all nothing but the length the number of characters which are coming from this table i'm going to find out the maximum who is the maximum 16 is the maximum so if you click on the evaluate you got the 16 now the 16 we are going to look up again in the same table where i'm actually going to calculate the length number of characters right in the j3 to j7 which is again this table the yellow one so if i click on the evaluate this is what you will see now this match is gonna find out this 16 where is this 15 16 comma and then 15 colon 16 colon 4 colon 4 colon 10 so 15 16 colon 4 colon 4 colon 10 this is your table and in this table you are going to look up this the value which is called the uh 16 16 so 16 is on actually here this is the 16 this 16 is here right which is on the second position so if i click here evaluate you can see here two now this two is going to act as a row number for the index if you don't know the index please go ahead and watch till index playlist i have talked about this index function right now in this table i'm going to capture the second row and the first column the second row would be this and the first column obviously would be this you have your answer so this is how guys you can use the price right now after watching this video maybe you would like to watch all those rest of the 10 videos because that's gonna make a lot of sense to you and in the coming time also i'm gonna upload the videos on the arrays because you guys need more examples on that i have got some emails but this one was a very basic uh you know the basic video for you i know i mean you may this may not sound as a basic but see we started from the basic and i just wanted to actually tell you the significance of f9 and the you know control shift enter and how basically they work so that is other it's a beautiful way of you know putting all the cells together in one cell and then doing your analysis and then doing your you know uh you know experiment right so that is all about that right so that's it for now and uh, if you haven't subscribed to subscribe to the channel guys please do that watch all these amazing videos and uh, i just have a one aim that to make you awesome in all these four subjects access access we way excel we way and that's why i upload the videos so please uh, subscribe to the channel and leave your comments anything you want to think that you know is you want to look forward in the channel please write me and i will definitely work on that thank you so much for watching and have a wonderful day